so much. I guess your reaction to how things played out, you were active all day, David also? Uh, yeah, um, I, think, I think in total I spent a kilometre in the peloton today, so, so it definitely was a big old day, but um, I'd kind of, um, yeah, I committed to the, to the early move when it was just the two of us, and uh, I hope that, you know, because we both had a couple of minutes, you know, behind GC that uh, maybe we were given a bit of rope early on and uh, it wasn't to be. The Peloton seemed to be uh, you know, really active all day and intent on keeping things in check. So, um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a long old day and we spent quite a lot of effort but, um, but even the handful of seconds that we gained you know, could prove useful later on. So um, yeah, not a, not a wasted day by any means. Cool. How do things play out in the last couple of kilometres? Uh, we were all concerned with, with time basically. Um, so we, we kept driving. My teammate Wales and Cy Brandy was, um, was just an animal up there and um, he was just driving all day for me which which was great and um, you know I think David knew that there was strength in numbers as well so so we kept it together on purpose on the climbs um, because it was just it was just really hard for the last 20k so um, so yeah we, we just drove it um, to the line and then David is you know a better sprinter than me so he, he took it I think he had a bit more left in the tank probably as well so yeah he, he deserves it he was super strong today what's your plan now for the remaining few days um, probably take stock tonight see what's you know see what's going on with the GC but I mean uh, I think you have to think on your feet in this race and um, we've got strength in numbers um, obviously uh, Kit Gillam is, is gonna still going to be up there overall so, um, so we've, got, we've got plenty of cards to play and um, yeah we'll, we'll wait and see how it pans out I think